keep you updated on the capital and financial markets, here is a recap of what happened. The Securities Commission Malaysia is working on the next iteration of the Sustainable and Responsible Investment Taxonomy released in December last year. Chairman Datuk Seri Dr. Awang Adekhasin said the move would provide greater guidance to the industry. SRI Taxonomy provides common guiding principles on the classification of economic activities to support sustainable investments. Capital Markets Regulator SEBI has impaneled 12 entities to provide assistance to its search team for on-site data acquisition during search and seizure operations. They have been impaneled for providing digital forensic services to the regulator following the completion of the impanelment process. The impanelment will be valid for a period of two years. The Securities and Exchange Board of India has introduced a new tool on its investor education web portal to equip and empower people to make robust financial plans for themselves. Developed by M. Patobi Roman, a professor at the Indian Institute of Technology and founder of Freefinkel, the financial health check tool aims to assist individuals in assessing and improving their financial well-being. The Monetary Authority of Singapore MAS, launched a public consultation on its proposal to streamline the regulatory framework for fund managers. Specifically, the existing registered fund management companies RFMCs, regime will be repealed, and existing RFMCs that are in operation will be approved as licensed fund management companies LFMCs, upon application. The RFMC regime was introduced in 2012 following the repeal of an earlier regime for exempt fund managers to facilitate the transition of EFMs into a fully regulated regime. EFMs in existence at that time had the option to apply to become either an RFMC or a LFMC. RFMCs have similar admission criteria and business conduct requirements as LFMCs that serve only accredited or institutional investors. However, RFMCs are subject to lighter requirements in terms of the frequency and granularity of regulatory reporting, given the limits placed on their assets under management and number of customers. Since 2012, the business models and risk profiles of RFMCs and AI LFMCs have increasingly converged, making the regulatory distinction between the two less meaningful. Many RFMCs have also upgraded to become AI LFMCs as their businesses grew and most new entrants seeking to conduct fund management in Singapore tend to apply to be AI LFMCs rather than RFMCs. Singapore's financial institutions and the telecommunication companies may soon be required to dig into their pockets to pay affected phishing scam victims if they fail to hold their part of the bargain in online transactions. The Monetary Authority of Singapore and Infocom Media Development Authority have placed on the table a joint consultation paper proposing what it calls a shared responsibility framework for phishing scams, a framework designed to strengthen the direct accountability of fees and telcos to consumers. If implemented, this will put the neighboring central bank and telco regulators ahead of Malaysia in responding to the proliferation of online scams. The latest e-zine is now available for download at FIMM's official website. Download your copy today to keep up to date with what's going on in the industry. FIMM is pleased to announce the release of its annual report 2022 with the theme, In the Grand Scheme of Things. Visit FIMM's official website to download a digital copy. This has been the FIMM TV Weekly Recap. Be informed, stay updated. Be sure to like, share and subscribe.